get together. My name is Lieutenant Colonel Eric King of the United States Air Force. I'm a chief nuclear engineer of the Iraq Survey Group, tasked with locating hidden chemical weapons. Our mission has uncovered something unexpected. I will now begin an autopsy of an unidentified life form. Them down. Long enough to spot them on the cameras. We should reset that trip wire. Give me a hand. We've been in some fucked up situations before. Never as fucked as this. If I gotta fight these things, there's no one else I would want by my side. You know I always got your back, buddy. Come with me. Something else. You would think? I wonder how many places like this we've bombed without a second thought. These relics are better off in the dust. What's your problem? These people didn't ask for this war. Why are you defending the enemy, Sergeant? You and me both know they're not all our enemies. Fuck, Jason. It's about the girl at the checkpoint. Shit, Nick. How many times? We thought she had a bomb. It was just a bag of groceries. We fucked up. Anything else you want to add, Sergeant? Yeah, that's what I thought. Mailman 2-1 Actual, this is Dropkick. Quest update, over. Two an actual receiving. Cameras are green and the holes have been demolished, over. Good work, Lieutenant. Treat through the eastern corridor and be on your guard, over. I hear you, over and out. An approximation, the creature is eight feet tall. Bipedal wing. Wing webbing appears to be affixed to its forelimbs and to the digits of its hands. Epidermis looks to be smothered in some sort of excretion. Underneath it is diseased almost. The creature is starting to rapidly decompose in death. Dropkick, this is Mailman 21 Actual. Approaching Eastern Passage. Over. I see you. Christ, these doors took a hammer in. Those things must have come through here in force. Whoever manned that weapon took a stand and held them off. Before they got massacred from behind. These creatures aren't dumb. The predators. Bet your bottom dollar if they came this way before. They could come again.
closest I've been to hell. Fuck she do to deserve that. Killed by a stake through the heart. <laughs> Pretty sure those creatures didn't do this. Who did? I don't know. Buffy? Who? Maybe you should hold on to that. Never know when you're gonna need a sharpened steak, right? Blowing a hole through the rock face, we found a gateway to a strange world below. A phosphorescence emanated from beneath, casting its eldritch light over us all. Lady Bradshaw was insistent that we descend further. Perhaps Mary is right, and Bradshaw is becoming reckless and uncontrollable. But I can't stop thinking about what's down there. I am now working with Crow and Pullman to set up a winch and elevator to descend into the shaft. What mysteries lie below, I wonder, undisturbed by the world above. What's that? It says they found something weird down here. Yeah, no shit. Like he's been drained dry. It's gotta be one of those explorers. That's gonna get us out of here. It's beautiful. Right now, I couldn't give a crap if it was the crown jewels of England. Looks like a good choke point. Any of those freaks coming up from below are sure to pass through here. Set some charges? Yeah. Yeah, rig these pillars for maximum coverage. More likely to see the trip wires, though. You think those things can tell a difference? We shouldn't underestimate them. We mine the sides. We're more likely to catch them out. Smaller spread, but the explosives are better hidden. What do you think? Those things are devious fuckers. You're right. We plant the charges to the side of the hall. All right. They won't see this one coming.
Those things are devious fuckers. Those things are devious fuckers. You're right. We plant the charges to the side of the hall. All right. They won't see this one coming. I can hear your brain taking away. What is it? Should have given her a second warning. Fuck, man, I wish I hadn't asked. I'm through talking about this. Yeah? What's left to say? You know that checkpoint was a prime target for suicide bombers. We had to act in the moment. We had to make a call. It was the wrong call. Why is it that no one ever tells it straight? Everyone just makes a bullshit to get by. That's why we're in the sandbox in the first place, right? I just want the truth, Jason. Shooting that woman messed with my head. You seriously gonna tell me it didn't mess with yours, man? We fucked up. If we make it out of here, we'll face up to that. If we die down here, maybe it's what we deserve. You know I was seeing Rachel. Are you serious? Been three weeks. It's armed. Dropkick, this is Mailman 2-1 Actual. We're at a stairwell leading down into a maze. Please advise, over. Found a camera here, and let's head back. about done yourself this time, puppy dog. Nick? Jason?
hell is that light? The creature has powerful claws and fangs formed from hardened and identifiable tissue. Two of the incisors appear grossly malformed and discolored, oddly out of place. The membrane surrounding the specimen seems to originate from its mouth. Blood is like nothing I've seen. I'll now perform a UV sweep to further inspect the fluids. Cool check, is that you? like a line out. Maybe we can get the ray you're working and send a signal out. It's worth a shot. A long shot. Oh, we don't even know if there's a working transmitter on the surface. Those wires gotta go somewhere, though. You think they still work? Well, looks to me like they just snagged up. Just as well. Don't feel much like climbing out there. <laughs> <laughs>
Oh my god. We have to hurry. It's not safe here. that you could fight yeah me either what was that thing i don't know whatever it is it's not alone where have you been one of those things got its dirty hands on me dragged me down here left me for dead fuck fuck doesn't even start to cut it i'm lucky to have gotten away you're talking to a scientist there's no such thing as luck you should be thankful i was there to help you I'm really grateful. Thank you. Semper Fi. We gotta find a way out of this hole. So, this is where you've been hiding out? Do you have any weapons? Uh, do you mind? Just need some batteries for this damn light. You could just ask. That ever cross your mind? Looks painful. Yeah. It is. Think you can keep still? I'm glad you're here. Yeah. Well, I guess I'm a little glad too. I saw those same symbols in the shepherd's huts. Those people must have been in the valley a long time. <coughs> There's a way up. There's no way we're making it. Look at it. It's barely climbable. We can make it together. How did I know you were going to say that? I met Eric in climbing glass. I can get us out of here. <laughs> Something funny you want to share? This place is fucked. We are so fucked, we don't stand a chance. You keep that to yourself. I'm going to get through this, and if you want to, you better try and keep up. You okay? Yeah, just need a minute. A minute isn't gonna kill us. Until it does. God, you, you look terrible. Gee, thanks, Rachel. You ever think about going into motivational speaking? Seriously, though, are you okay? That's gotta be about the dumbest question I have ever been asked. Give me the silent treatment, huh? 
I think right now we should just focus on survival. It's no wonder they call you the queen bitch. Sad thing is, you don't even see it. See what exactly? You don't let anyone in. It's like there's a wall around you. No, not, not even a wall, a mountain. Tell me, Rachel. Is there even a real person behind there? It's not easy being queen bitch. You think I got where I am with a soft word and a warm smile? And here's me thinking you Langley types grew up on Easy Street. <laughs> Easy Street? I had to graph to get here. You think it bothers me what people call me? I wear that shit like a badge of fucking honor. They have no idea of the shit hill I've climbed just to get to where I am right now. Yeah? And where is that exactly? Looks like another shit hill if I'm truly honest with myself. You and I, we're not so different. You know, both doing what needed to be done to get to where we wanted to be. No shame in that. No shame. <coughs> What did that thing do to you? Please! Please don't leave me down here alone! It's okay. I'm here. Thing do to you. There's medication up there. It may help you, but we need to move now. <clears throat> side of the chasm. We'll never make it. <laughs> Don't quit on me now. <laughs> we have to swing over. That rope won't hold. Wait! Do you really believe those medicines will help me? Keep it together, Clarice. We're almost there. You didn't answer my question. Where I see it? It's your only hope. We can do this.
seeing anything come up, but I can hear them. Sounds like they're having way more fun down there than we are up here. Over. As long as they keep the party to themselves, I'm happy. We got nothing on the cameras inside. Over. Eyes alive. They set up a fake dig site to draw off grave robbers. They knew whatever was down here it was pretty special. All clear for now. If they hit us, my best hunch is it'll be from the chasm. If? You feeling optimistic, Lieutenant? We're facing an enemy we know zero about. An enemy of unknown size and their home turf. Sucks to be us. I don't know how long those doors can hold them back. Radio's our best shot. Let's fix it up, call in the cavalry, even shit up a bit. If there is a transmitter up there, it's gonna have a limited range. Damn it. Barricade allowed close air support. Those birds could have picked up the signal. Trust up brass to fuck you in the ass. Thirtieth of December. Mary's condition worsens. This evening, I awoke from an exhausted daze to find Lady Bradshaw asking my wife more of her damned questions. Mary was babbling something about winged demons. At this, Bradshaw's eyes lit up and she asked whether Mary could sense them now. Gripped by delirium, my wife lashed out clawing at Bradshaw's chest. Lady Bradshaw withdrew, and I was, after a while, able to calm my wife.
I'm gonna need a hand to get this up and running. That thing looks like it was sabotaged. How would they do that? We gotta work with what we have. Fall back if anything moves out here. It's safer inside. Thank you. Good job, Sergeant. Those things will kill you, Sergeant. Yeah, like smoking is the biggest threat to my life right now. Fuck that, you little lighter. What's good? It's nothing. It's just a ghost signal. Even without a transmitter, a radio picks up a faint signal. It's just ghost, man. So fix that transmitter. If we can establish a signal and contact CENTCOM, then we're one step closer to home. I don't know, man. I'm no technician. If Merwin was here, though, he could fix it. <laughs> no shit. Embrace the suck. Get back inside the temple. I'm staying here. I need you on the cameras in case we get flanked. I got this. Lieutenant, I... I said I got this! Go! Oh, 
only way we're gonna get rid of this cloud. Got any sense? They'll stay back. Shit is about to get real in here. Wait. Rachel. Rachel. <laughs> You're alive. Have any doubt, Marie? Eric. Rach. I'm so sorry. You followed climbing protocol. You had no other choice but to cut the rope. We don't need to discuss it. We both would have died. You have to understand that. <clears throat> Are we good? Tim, isn't it? I understand you're not the brightest, Nick, but even you must know what I'm talking about. You've been fucking him, haven't you? That's the best you got? Stop it! I know what Tim Rich. I know. You better step off before I start swinging. Colonel or no Colonel? Don't, Nick. I spent a long time waiting for you, Eric. Until? Until I had to move on. Always loyal. Always loyal, huh? You weren't so loyal when you cut the rope. It's good to see you, Rachel. Thought we'd lost you. Who else made it through? It ain't good. Merwin's gone. Those things. They got Joey. Clarice. What is it? Clarice was infected. Those things, I don't know how. They got inside her. We tried to make it back up here, but... She fell to her death. One thing I've learned about this place. The dead don't stay that way. Alarmed? Make sure every shot counts. 
all we need. Now's the time! Come on, come on. There's gotta be something. Wait! Yes! Okay, we can make for the catacombs! We need to go down! Down? In case you missed it, that ain't the way out. It's either that or we die where we stand. Everyone, move to the east gate! One of your better ideas, Rich. Now we're talking.
listen. Can you hear them? The blast must have cut us off. We should keep moving. Hello again. My friend is not happy. Yeah, I can see that. What happened up there? Your friends are a little too jumpy for my liking. It's making me nervous. Lowering your weapon might help alleviate some of the tension. انتي مش في مكان تحدثي Make a move. I fucking dare you. I feel like our uniforms are getting in the way of what could be a beautiful relationship. مش اهبل. Shut up. I say we drill these sorry looking motherfuckers. What do you think, Colonel? Make the call, Colonel. We need their help. They're the enemy, Nikki. I don't trust any one of you. It's them. We must get this door open. Why are you standing there? Help! Don't even think about it. Fuck, Jason! The enemy of our enemy is our friend! Move! Come on, man! Damn it! Help them! I'll cover the corridor! Shit! Move! in the goddamn world.
Teach you to mess with a Marine. I come in peace. Don't you fucking move. You alone? Anyone else make it? It all happened too fast. I think it's just you and me. Just you and me, huh? Well, that's just fucking great. I don't mean you any harm. I swear. No shit. I'm the one holding the gun. You looking for trouble? Says the American with the gun. We don't have to be friends. But we can be allies. That's something I can get on board with. For one second, you're trying to cross me. Best believe me. Following second, you're dead. I kill vampires. You think I'm afraid of a jar head? That looks like our best way through. One of us holds up the gate, the other can slip through. Find another way around. I think there's a way through. I just need to clear it from my side. Do it quick. Those things could be anywhere. Got any idea what we're dealing with? They're vampires. Not possible. My father once told me, if something looks like shit and smells like shit, you don't have to taste it to know that it's shit. <laughs> Believe me, they're vampires. We must work together to defeat them. Yeah, it's beginning to look like that. First thing you're gonna do when we get out of here. Hold my son. How about you? What'll you do? I'll probably just go for a drink. Nine PM. Something unholy has happened. As I sat with my wife, I noticed something in her hand. Lady Bradshaw's brooch. She must have pulled it from her shirt when she grabbed at her. Turning it over, I noticed that it looked like one of the creatures we'd exhumed from the cocoons. 
Were these the demons Mary had spoken about? Had Bradshaw known all along what we'd find down here? Then Mary's corpse moved. It was not my wife. It was something inhuman. It leapt at me, and only the bars of the cell spared me from its fury. You seem like you got your head screwed on. So I gotta ask, what the hell made you sign up with Saddam? For us, we had no choice. Friend Nick, I like him. He was good to me. Circumstance. Any other day, 